All right, uh, going to be a short, short, short day today. Um, all I got time to do is the uh, bone structure in both the front legs. I've already started by putting the uh, shoulder blades on, and uh, I'm going to, that's about all I'm going to have time to do today is just the uh, bone structure in that fr the front legs. Let's get started. Time to play with some clay. All right, I got to anchor the shoulder blades on the clay so they're not falling off. And so I'm just filling in behind them. Now, the front legs and the shoulder is like your arms and your shoulder blade. Uh, everything moves, it's fluid. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now is just uh, moving them. Normally they would be the shoulder would be further down, but because he's uh, raising his front legs, uh, it's raising up the uh, shoulder blades as well. Um, his head will be angled more like this because it looks good from every angle. Um, you got to be careful. You don't want to have the head foreshortened in the, the best view because if you do, then it his head disappears and it, it's a bad composition. So you got to be constantly thinking about your composition of your clay and uh, how it's going to look in the finished product. And that's what I have to do. I really wish I could show you everything I'm going to do today, but I can't because it's on my instructional videos and people pay good money for those videos. I'm sorry. Of course, you could always buy my videos. <laughs> anyway, I know I keep on saying that, but you know, I got to pay for my studio and I got to pay for the house that I'm in. I got to pay for the clay that I use and the uh, copper tubing and all the other stuff that I have to have to do my sculptures so I sort of have to keep uh, reminding you that uh, I do have videos for sale all right I'll be right back all right I'm gonna add clay to the uh, neck armature because I gotta have clay on there to so that the muscles can attached to something on the uh, armature. And I want to angle this head where I want it to go, so I'm going to have to put a piece of clay in there to do that. just sculpting the ridge line down the uh, center of the uh, shoulder blade
as you can see I've got the uh, the hoof on this foot I show how to make hoofs that are it's simple to make and uh, I show how to do that on my instructional video it's a little trick that I came up with about 40 years ago <laughs> When I probably did a, when I did my first horse. I'll put more detail in that hoof later, but right now that's going to have to be it for now. I even sculpted it underneath the, uh, the hoof because it is off the ground. All right. And I continue with the other leg. All right, I'm just going to fill in these holes on this uh, side of his body, and then I'm going to call it quits for today. It pretty well took all day to get these bones right. But I like the positioning of the legs now. It looks good from every angle, and that's the real key, is making it look like it flows. You don't want it to look... Uh, clunky I changed the position of this leg a little I had it bent more and up but uh, I didn't like that it didn't it didn't flow is what I'm trying to say so now it flows All right, uh, that's going to be it for today. I've got the uh, legs uh, blocked in as far as the uh, bone structure goes. Uh, next time I'll start adding muscles, I hope. Um, I won't do that on the head of the horse until the very last. But uh, at least I got this started, and I'm happy with it. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Whenever that next time happens to be. <laughs> Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.